Hey friends, this is Joe from IWD Agency. Today, we're gonna to go over the main differences between Shopify Plus and Adobe Commerce, powered by Magento. Both of these platforms are super feature rich and they power some of the most popular brands around the internet. We're not gonna go through all the features of each platform because they have thousands of features and many of them are the same. So we're gonna focus on the main differences between the two platforms so you can see what might be better for your business. If you're trying to decide between the two platforms and you need additional assistance, please reach out to us at iwdagency.com and we would be happy to assist. We've been working with both of these platforms for over 10 years and we can help you dial in what's best for your business. So to get started, we've made this chart so you can see the main differences at a glance. If you'd like to download this chart, you can go to the link below and I'll send you to our site to download it. Let's get started with the pricing. Their pricing is very similar as far as their licensing fee. They're both based upon volume of transactions going through your store. They both have a base transaction fee monthly or yearly, but then depending on your volume, they do charge more for how much volume is going through your store and how many transactions are going through your store. And they can be negotiated between the two platforms. So if you are considering Shopify Plus or Adobe Commerce, the pricing is not that much different to make a decision on. I think the features are those things that you really wanna focus on and your use case. The second thing we'll go through is ease of use. Shopify wins this and there's multiple reasons for this. First of all, Shopify is a hosted platform. Also the code, is not open source. Since it's a SaaS product, there is some of the code that it's locked down. So you don't really have to worry about breaking the system as much as you would have to do for Magento. Also, their user interface for that administrative panel is slimmed down so that basic users can use it quicker and learn how to use it faster. The second feature that Shopify Plus will win too is automatic upgrades and automatic patches. Since Shopify is a SaaS solution and Adobe Commerce is an open source solution, Shopify has the ability to automatically push security updates and upgrades to their system you don't have to worry about this. Magenta being open source, you have to manually go in there and upgrade your system and make sure it doesn't break any of your customizations. There is an additional cost of maintaining Adobe Commerce because you have to make sure you have the latest security patches and you will have to manually upgrade your system. The next big difference between these two platforms is the code that it's written on. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say one is better than the other unless you are really familiar with one type of code more than the other. Shopify is written on Ruby on Rails, which is also called Liquid. They have modified Ruby on Rails to have their own coding system inside of Shopify, so it does have some variations, but it's built upon Ruby on Rails. Adobe Commerce is built on PHP or the Zen framework. The Zen framework is a framework that uses PHP inside of it, but this is the code base they use. The ease of use and the automatic upgrades are Shopify's biggest pluses over Adobe Commerce. We'll go through some of the other features, but if that's all you're looking for, if you have a very standard e-commerce store, you're looking for something really easy to use and you don't have to worry about upgrades and maintenance in the future, Shopify Plus might be the best option for you. The reason why Adobe Commerce can be harder to use is because it's more customizable and because it's open source. And so you have a lot more options. You have a lot more flexibility. If you're looking for a more powerful enterprise system, Adobe Commerce is fully customizable. Everything is yours and you can modify it for your business needs. So this is a huge win for Adobe Commerce. And if you're looking for full flexibility, then Adobe Commerce would probably be a better pick for you. And if that answers your question, then you don't have to watch the rest of the video. But in the rest of the video, we'll dial in some more of the features that you can do with Adobe Commerce that really amplifies your e-commerce system. So the first thing that we'll talk about is unlimited products. Adobe Commerce is truly unlimited products. You can add as many products as you want. You can upload as many products as you want. Shopify Plus, you can eventually get as many products as you want, but they do have limitations here. Once again, you're sharing their system and so they have to have limitations so that people don't bog down their system. Let's say you have a million products. Well, Shopify Plus will allow you to upload 50,000 initially, and then after that, it'll be a thousand a day you'll be limited to. But if you have a million products, it might take you a really long time to upload your whole catalog. The next item we'll go through is being able to handle multiple stores on one administrative panel. This could be different stores for international businesses. Say you have a store for Europe or France or Germany. You have one for the United States, Canada, Mexico, Australia. But you can handle all of those inside Adobe Commerce and Shopify. They do have some some international capabilities, but it's hard to have completely separate stores and be able to manage all the content for every store separately. Or let's say you have different storefronts that you're managing for say furniture and you have one store that's outdoor furniture, one store that's indoor furniture, or one that's high-end furniture and one that's low budget furniture. You can manage all these stores in Magento in one administrative panel. So you don't have to log in and out of different systems. The same thing comes for wholesale B2B businesses. If you have one store for your basic retailers, but you have 
another store that you want to set up for your wholesalers for different messaging, you can handle that in Adobe Commerce. With Shopify, you'd have to have a different administrative panels to handle each of these stores. Adobe Commerce will allow you to handle inventory for multiple different locations into one administrative panel. If you have different warehouses, you can have these different warehouses all pulled into Adobe Commerce. You can see the inventories at different locations, storefronts, or different warehouses. This is a really cool feature that comes with Adobe Commerce, where Shopify doesn't offer this out of the box. We already talked about this a little bit with the multiple stores. Adobe Commerce is better for international stores because you have a lot more flexibility to have different stores in one administrative panel. You can set up different payment methods for different regions. Because they have the ability to set up different stores built into every aspect of Adobe Commerce, you can have complete flexibility of different stores having different inventory, different stores having different languages, different stores having different shipping. This is, once again, another big feature that Adobe Commerce has out of the box, where Shopify Plus doesn't have this out of the box. Another feature that Adobe Commerce comes with is PWA, Progressive Web App. We won't get into all the details here, but it's basically code that will speed up your site and make it feel more like an app as far as it being super responsive, being able to work offline. This is something that comes native with Adobe Commerce, where Shopify Plus doesn't have this either. The next is the artificial intelligence search that Adobe Commerce has, powered by Sensei. This is basically where your search will continue to learn misspellings, plurals, non-plurals, and basically act more like Amazon or Google, where it will detect what people are really searching for, even if they don't search the exact phrase that's on your product. Shopify Plus doesn't have this out of the box. If you want to get a better search functionality for Shopify, you can do this. Some of these features, if there's just one or two that you're missing, you might want to add an app. But if you add too many apps, first of all, your cost is going to go up. But also, it's hard to get all these apps to work together seamlessly. A lot of times, that can cause more issues if you have too many apps added onto your store. Another one of the big features that Adobe Commerce has that Shopify Plus does not have is the different type of products they have natively. We will create a different video to go over different product types in a little bit more in depth because it is a huge feature of Adobe Commerce, but a simple product is basically that. It's a simple product. It doesn't have a lot of flexibility as far as being able to group products together or to be able to customize them either. We'll run through the different product types pretty quickly just to show you what Adobe Commerce has that Shopify Plus doesn't. Configurable products, bundle products, virtual products, group products, downloadable products are all products that are offered with Adobe Commerce out of the box. And this gives you a lot more power when it comes to building your store and making sure that your products are set up correctly. The next thing that Adobe Commerce does really good with different types of products is they have a unlimited set of product attributes. And product attributes you can think of is how you would describe a product with an adjective. It could be color, it could be shape, it could be what type of wood is used, what kind of plastics used. These are typically areas that your customers are going to want to search for, filter for, and that you're going to want to be able to describe your products with. This is a very important feature that Shopify is lacking. Your attribute set is basically set out of the box. This is another area that Adobe Commerce is very strong in. The next area is the layer navigation. A layer navigation is basically when you go to a catalog page or a category page and you want to be able to filter down products from price to color to material type to weight and different types of industries will have different types of attributes that someone might want to filter for. Adobe Commerce will allow you to customize this and add unlimited attributes for each product, allowing that layer navigation to be super powerful and feature rich. You can also add these to places like your advanced search. Once again, this is an area that Shopify Plus is lacking because they limit you on the amount of attributes that you can add to your store. Next thing that Adobe Commerce offers out of the box is color swatches. Shopify Plus doesn't offer this, and this is one of the areas that I don't understand why they don't offer is color swatches out of the box. This is basically when you have different items and you want to click on whatever it is and the product image automatically switches to that color. You can add this to Shopify Plus with some different apps, but they don't have this natively built into Shopify Plus where Adobe Commerce has this. Another thing that Adobe Commerce has is their visual merchandising. In the administrative panel, you can go and see all your products and say you're trying to categorize all the wood furniture versus all the fabric furniture, but you want to do it by just selecting them all visually and being able to move them into different buckets. You can do this with Adobe Commerce commerce, Shopify Plus is lacking this feature. The next feature is back to artificial intelligence. They offer this also with product recommendations. With Sensei, the artificial intelligence will be watching your store and seeing how customers react to different products. Then they'll automatically add different product recommendations or related products so that you don't have to do this manually. This technology will allow your store to continuously get better over time without you having to do anything. This is something that you would have to do manually for Shopify Plus or get another app to do this. The next area is the promotion engine built by Adobe Commerce is super feature 
feature rich. You can go into a lot of different nuances on how you want to set up a coupon and they have a lot of different rules in place. Shopify Plus's coupon engine lacks a lot of this functionality. So if you want to set up a more advanced coupon, you'll have to go get a different app here as well to be able to set up more advanced discounting or coupons for your store. The next area to talk about is SEO. Adobe Commerce also wins here. One of the reasons is because it's open source. So if you want to change your URL structure or be able to change the different code into your system, you have more flexibility to modify your store. If you just need basic SEO needs, Shopify Plus does do this well. But if you're looking for more customization and more complex SEO stuff, Adobe Commerce will allow you to do this. The next big category is the B2B functionality. If you're doing B2B or wholesale, Adobe Commerce is hands down a lot better system than Shopify Plus. Adobe Commerce is really built well for B2B customers, wholesale customers, manufacturers, and distributors. And we'll just read the list real quick. But if you want more details, watch our other video and we explain more in depth a lot of these different features. The first one is being able to handle multiple stores, B2C or B2B stores, and one admin. We've already talked about this, so I'll just jump to the next one. Pricing per customer group. Adobe Commerce has this out of the box. Once again, this goes down to two things is having different stores and the promotion engine that Adobe Commerce has out of the box. You can have different customer groups. If you're wholesale customers, if you want to have 50% off, you can have that and your retail customers don't. But you can also have different tiers. This is if you buy more volume, you get a bigger discount. Then you can even have different discounts for different categories as well. The next is requisition list. This comes standard with Adobe Commerce and this is having a list of items that a company is either allowed to buy or they buy frequently so they can keep coming back and already have that list ready for them. The next really cool feature Adobe Commerce has is their request a quote feature. This is where if a customer goes to a site and you don't want to list the pricing, say I want to request a quote for this item or maybe I want to request a quote for a bulk order of these items, then it will go to your salespeople through the administrative panel. They'll create a quote and it'll go back to the customer to either approve it or they can send it back to the salesperson and say, hey, that doesn't quite meet my needs. Can we make these couple of changes for it? So you have that back and forth. Your B2B customers can manage their teams and teams hierarchy. So you can have different managers and different employees. Employees can request, hey, I want to buy 10,000 pencils. And then it goes to the manager. The manager either approves it or says, you know what? We don't need 10,000 pencils. We only need a thousand pencils. So this is another cool B2B feature. And this also covers the order approval process. The next is custom catalog. So you can have custom catalogs per B2B customers that you have. If you want to set up a catalog just for suppliers, say the Dallas Cowboys, you want their items just to be shown versus the New Orleans Saints, and they have different catalogs set up, you can do this natively in Adobe Commerce. The next is being able to order via a CSV file. In Adobe Commerce, your merchants could just upload a huge file of all the items they need to order, especially if it's a bulk order of a thousand different things they need to restock their inventory. This is something you can do natively in Adobe Commerce. You can also assign sales reps per account and they can manage those accounts, get commission on those accounts. You can see sales reports per account that they manage. If they need to, they can also log in as a customer, assist the customer with the items, finding items, adding them to the cart and assisting them with the checkout process as well. The next item is allowing customers to have store credits. This is a lot of times used when one of your merchants has a credit with you to say $20,000, they can buy it on credit, then they can pay for that purchase later, depending on your terms with that merchant. The next is managing quotes and negotiating terms. This is also built into Adobe Commerce. We've went through this already a little bit, but in Adobe Commerce, you can set up terms for each of your wholesale customers and negotiating pricing per customer. A lot of times in the B2B distributor world, you'll have negotiated pricing for each customer. You can set this up in Adobe Commerce. This is just a high level list of the main differences between the two platforms. I know this seems to lean a little heavier to the Adobe Commerce side, but they're really just two different systems. So maybe you don't need all these features and you have a very simple store and you just want something easy to use, then Shopify Plus all the way, it's gonna be easier for you to maintain, it's gonna be easier for you to use, and it's gonna make your life easier and you can focus on your business. But on the other hand, Adobe Commerce is a different use case and for more complex businesses that need these features. If you need these features, then Adobe Commerce makes sense. Anyways, that's all we have today. If you'd like any information, feel free to hit us up at iwdagency.com and we'll see you next time, bye.